Hey everyone, welcome back to channel Tech and Art. Hope you guys are doing good. So today we are going to discuss about ADR, Accelerated Database Recovery. Before starting the session, I would request in each and everyone who ever newly joined channel, please like to subscribe and don't forget to share with others. Please visit the channel playlist. And if you want to contribute YouTube thanks, you can you can do through through YouTube thanks. Okay. Before starting the session, uh, let me open the document which I have created. So accelerated database recovery, before going to that point, I little bit describe about uh, the recovery. So as we all know, the recovery process is essential and critical task for DBA, right? We have faced many scenarios where the DBA do not have control over the actual recovery, okay? And only solution is wait to recover to finish the, right? So that's the reason, uh, you know, Microsoft introduced a new features from 2019 onwards, accelerated database recovery. So accelerated database recovery will understand based on these two scenarios, right? First is, you know, uh, the killing the, an active session running query and second one is abnormal shutdown, right? Mm -hmm. So b let me, uh, you know, uh, quickly show you uh, before uh, before ADR, with the, without ADR, how it's working the recovery process, right? Suppose you are running a query DML operation, right? Uh, Query is an executing uh, stable, but due to some reason, it's causing the high CPU deadlock and blocking system, blah, blah, blah. And due to some reason, uh, you have to take the decision to kill the query, right? So let's assume if you are killing any query, right, which is running from, uh, uh, if you can see the executing from the last three minutes, so inserted somewhere around, you know, uh, four lakhs uh, uh, records, right, till, till now. Within the three minutes, uh, it's inserted four lakhs record, and now you have taken the decision. This query need to kill because it's causing the high CPU and memory, and it's a bottom memory pressure bottleneck, right? So, in the next, if you are killing, you are identified the query session ID, session ID, let's say 55, and you are killing the 55. So after killing the 55, you can, you know, uh, see the you know, status of the rollback. So kill 55 with uh, status only, it will give you the um, that particular session ID query rollback status. If you can see here the rollback status, which is showing 3567 seconds, which is approximately 60 minutes, right? So you have to wait for that, right? If the uh, 60 minutes. So let's assume uh, till now query executed only three minutes and for that rollback, you have to wait 60 minutes. If query, uh, you know, uh, executed uh, around one hour, and then you have take the decision to kill the dis uh, session ID, so you can assume uh, how much time you have to wait. Within a three minutes, you know, forwarded query, if you are take killing the session, you have to wait for rollback uh, 60 minutes. If query, the same query, executed one hour and now you are taking the decision to kill so uh, you can assume how much time you have to wait to recover the database this is the uh, one scenario and second scenario abnormal shutdown in abnormal shutdown well, let's say a sql server you know uh, restarted due to some reason uh, unexpectedly so uh, once the services came up database will be in a recovery phase so if you go and check in error log you will see this kind of message right uh, how much uh, approximately uh, second you have to remain so you can see 36,000 somewhere uh, you know, uh, seconds it's showing right so as per the error logs entry it will make approximately in a second which is approximately 10 hours so it is really really huge right if you uh, recheck the error log message if you can see once the uh, its recovery is completed you can see the how many times it's taken uh, during the each phase of analysis, redo, and undo phases. Here you will get the complete details. So what we uh, understand with these two scenarios, so this is the really, really challenge for DBA task, which is huge recovery time and rollback uh, task longer, right? These two are the major challenges for DBA if you are not using the ADR. So to overcome this situation, uh, Microsoft introduced ADR, Accelerated Database Recovery, which is introduced from 2019 onwards, right? So now we'll understand uh, if the same, uh, both scenario which I showed you, uh, with ADR, how it's working, right? 
so here i have described little bit about the you know adr uh, how it is working it is designed the database recovery phase in sql server we can do the immediate rollback so with the adr we can do the immediate rollback right it improves the recovery process overall recovery process so by default it is disabled so you can check the status whether the particular database uh, uh, ADR is enabled or not with this command and if you want to enable you can immediate uh, you can alter the current database and you can enable it right with this command now uh, both two scenario we will see with ADR right so in first scenario killing the active uh, running transaction if your database is using the ADR you can see the you know uh, here as soon as kill the process immediately it's completed and roll uh, roll back without accelerated recovery took approximately 60 minutes and here with roll uh, with adr database uh, roll back very quickly so the main uh, major concern is when we haven't used the adr it was taking the 60 minutes same query and now it's you know it's uh, rolled back very quickly without uh, with adr now uh, the second is you know uh, the abnormal shutdown uh, so as we have seen earlier uh, if you can see here uh, the, the scenario two uh, once the sql server is back online connected instance we can see the database is now online so with adr if you see uh, once the database uh, services came uh, online as soon as database also will come online right and you can see here the uh, details of this all analysis phase and uh, redo and undo phase. Now with the help of this diagram, we'll understand how the ADR is working. We have seen the two scenarios with killing the transaction and unexpected shutdown. And we have seen uh, without, without ADR and with ADR how it's work, right? Now we'll analyze uh, how the ADR is working, right? Let's see. So before the ADR, we can see uh, how the recovery point, uh, recovery phase is working without ADR. This diagram is for without ADR. Now, now you can see. Uh, so all the database is recovered in the three phase. We all know, right? Analysis, redo, and undo. So how, without ADR, how it's work? When the un uh, uh, unexpected shutdown happen, so during the analysis, it it will firstly start the analysis, right? <coughs> the end of the log where the uh, uh, last checkpoint uh, occurred from that point it will start the analysis then what it will do the redo will start you know uh, the reading the logs where where the old oldest uncommitted transaction from here from here it will start the read the logs right once the read log process complete then in a third phase undo phase what undo phase will do it will you know uh, roll back the transaction from the uh, end of the logs it will start from here to till the uncommitted transaction so this this is the process for uh, when the adr is not using now uh, we'll see with the same diagram uh, accelerated database recovery in 2019 this is the diagram which, we, which is for adr process you can see that the accelerated database recovery and little bit i have described here so what the ADR uh, working once the ADR is enabled once the SQL Server database it it stores the version of uh, all modification. So SQL Server stores the previous version in second secondary memory optimized log called S log. So what ADR is doing? So what it, all the modification previous uh, um, modification it is going to stored in a S log memory secondary memory optimized which is called S log right. It stored the version all modification, right? So, uh, let me we'll describe here. So here is the you know uh, <coughs> PBS. PBS is uh, you know persisted version store SQL store uh, SQL Server store the raw versioning in the database enabled with the accelerated database recovery features and logically SQL Server use the PBS to undo the changes immediately and it does not need read the details from the transaction log at the time of consuming process this is the major features uh, which help to database recover so fastly i will tell you uh, and s log 
let me go uh, come to this diagram you can read these things okay these three points i will explain you with this help of this diagram how the adr process is helping so with uh, with adr you can see the with adr how uh, the you know recovery process is working so first phase analysis phase it it will start the analysis from the last checkpoint right but in a redo for redo logs in with the where the adr is enable the database uh, recovery process is no need to you know start reading from the last un uncommitted checkpoint why because it is already versioning the in s log already stored in s log right so it will only start from the last checkpoint last checkpoint redo will start from the last checkpoint right so this time you have saved right you can see that this time you have saved. why because it is already working in a s log right in the same way uh, in uh, in a undo phase uh, what it will do undo phase will do uh, it will st uh, start undoing uh, from the last checkpoint right so if you can see here uh, in a previous diagram what it is doing uh, it is doing the analysis and it is starting the read reading the from the oldest transaction uncovered from this point right until here end of the log right it will read the completely right but if you can see here with adr it is not going to read it is it will read the from the last checkpoint only because from here it's already stored in s log and same in undo also it's already st uh, stored in s log with this this areas log right no need to read this areas between uncommitted to last checkpoint because already covered by through the s log so only this area you can see here is this highlighted point so only this area log only you have to analyze right so database recovery time is only depends on this area how much logs which is very very less right because already the past log analyzed so during the uh, from the s log that's the reason if you can see here what the s log is saying actually it stores log records for lo uh, it stored log records for log records for non version operations these operation can be ddl bulk of bulk queries it makes the redo and undo processing quickly uh, because they only need to process non versioning operation right that's the reason uh, uh, so uh, when the recovery points uh, when the recovery started uh, it's already you know uh, records is processed through the s logs for the all non versioning operations right so accelerated database recovery time will be faster uh, based on this analysis so hope you try to understand uh, how the adr is working with the help of this diagram right these two diagrams only will make you concept very clear without adr how the log reading process is happening in all the phases analysis redo and undo you can and with adr you can see how you know it's working and uh, how the log is reading in a redo phase and how uh, it's undoing in a undo phase well that's it for today i uh, hope you got it if you like it please like do subscribe and comment Thank you.